After learning the concept of ecosystem, we are going to look at two different ecosystem structures. One happened in the lake, another one is on land, the terrestrial ecosystem. In the lake ecosystem, we will have to look at different parts of the lake. And this is what we call lake zonations, where the lake is divided into different zones based on depth as well as distance from the shoreline. And you will be able to see how the organisms are distributed in these zones. First, we have the littoral zones, which is these zones here, close to the shore. The next one, we have the limnatic zone, which is further from the shore. We say the open water region. Both of them are just until this photic zone. They are not very deep, only at the surface, the photic zone. And if you go deeper, we have the profundo zone, or we call it the aphotic zone. From the name, you can tell. Photic, like photosynthesis, it means it has light. But aphotic, which means there will be no light because it goes further down the lake, deeper, and that's why it's aphotic, it's no light. What about benthic zone? Benthic refers to the bottom, the floor of the lake. Thus, you can see how we divide the lake into different zones. Like I mentioned just now, first, it's based on light penetration. Photic, which is on the upper part, it means light can reach here. Aphotic, or another name we call it profundo. From the name A, you know there will be no light. This tells why when it goes deeper, the color of the lake becomes darker because the light simply cannot reach the aphotic or the profundo zone. And this zone is a deeper part of the lake. We can also divide the lake into zones based on the distance from the shore and the water depth. Both littoral and limnatic zone, they are the subzone of the photic zone, which means they are not very deep, only on the surface of the water. And that's why both of them are well lit, which means both of them can have sufficient light. Littoral zone is the part where it will still close to the shore. You can see from this picture, littoral is simply the part where it still consists of the shore. What about limnetic then? Limnetic is further into the middle of the lake and we say this is the open water area. And the depth, they are the same, it's just the photic zone, not very deep, until where light can still penetrate. So that's the littoral and the limnetic zone. Over here, you can see this that we call the compensation point. What is it, a compensation point? Compensation point is a point where the rate of photosynthesis is the same as the rate of respiration. The second ecosystem structure that you need to know is the terrestrial ecosystem and we are going to learn tropical rainforest. What is a tropical rainforest? From its name you can tell tropical because it is located at the tropical region. Rain that's why it receives a large amount of rain throughout the year and that makes it to have high humidity. We can divide the tropical rainforest into five strata, which means like five layers. We have the bottom layer that we call the ground layer, which is the forest floor. And then the second layer, we have strut layer which consists of the short plants. This is about 3.5 meter tall. 
understory is where the trees they are about 20 meters tall they usually do not receive a lot of sunlight because this sunlight is being blocked by the canopy canopy they are taller trees and they have their leaves and branches interlocked to form a roof of the forest you can see how dense the trees they are at the canopy layer they form something like the roof of the forest and usually the trees they are about 30 meter to 40 meter tall and the tallest one will be the emergent layer so emergent layer they must be the trees that can withstand the strong wind and high temperature because they expose to so much sunlight